Welcome to Mole to Mole Stoichiometry Problems. So as you should probably remember from your mole map, to convert from moles of one thing to moles of another, we're going to multiply by the conversion factor. And how do we figure out what the conversion factor is? Well, you need to look at your balanced chemical reaction, and then that's the coefficient of whatever you seek over the coefficient of whatever you know. It's seek over know. Something new over something old. It's just like the dimensional analysis problems we did earlier. But you must have a given quantity, you must have a balanced chemical reaction, and then you can go forward. Okay, so number one, I have a balanced chemical reaction, and the way I know that is I see I have two nitrogens, two nitrogens, six hydrogens, six hydrogens. Okay, good. Clear that up. How many moles of hydrogen are needed to completely react with two moles of nitrogen? So two moles of nitrogen is what I, is what I know. I know that. So two moles nitrogen. And I see, so this is our no. Where's nitrogen? This is what I know. And what I seek is moles of hydrogen. So I'm going to multiply by the coefficient of what I seek, which is three over the coefficient of what I know, which is one. So two times three is six divided by one is six. Now our answer is gonna be moles of hydrogen now. Okay, math is pretty straightforward. How many moles, okay, so I, I'm just gonna let you know, these are all balanced chemical reactions, so we don't need to check it every time. They're not always going to be, so make sure you do, but this worksheet, they are. How many moles of oxygen are produced by the decomposition of six moles potassium chlorate? So I seek oxygen. So even though oxygen is part of this, I'm looking for just elemental oxygen. So this is what I seek. And what do I know? I know six moles potassium chlorate. So this is what I know. So six moles potassium chlorate so the coefficient of that is two, and that goes on the bottom. What I know, or sorry, what I know is two, what I seek is three. So again, my given is here, the coefficient of what I know goes on the bottom, because I'm going away from it, what I seek is up top. So six times three is 18, divided by two is nine moles of oxygen now. How many moles of hydrogen, so hydrogen is what I seek, are produced from the reaction of three moles of zinc with an excess of hydrochloric acid. So three moles of zinc is what I know. Now, see where it says with an excess of hydrochloric acid? Um, don't worry about that right now. Whoa, that was weird, I got bigger. Um, let's clear a little bit of that up. Oh, I didn't wanna do that. Sorry as I learn Okay, good enough. Okay, so now, let's go back to here. Three moles of zinc is what I was given, and I'm gonna react it with what I seek over what I know. So the coefficient of what I seek is a one. Nothing's written, so it's a one. And what I know is also a coefficient of one. So three times one is three, divided by one is also three. But we're not gonna deal with zinc anymore, we're dealing with hydrogen. Okay. How many moles of oxygen are necessary to completely react with four moles of propane? So moles of oxygen is what I seek. So there it is, that's what I seek. What do I know? Four moles of propane, so this is what I know. So four moles C3H8. Okay, so what I seek is five, what I know is one. So four times five is 20 moles of oxygen. Don't forget your units. Finally, how many moles of potassium nitrate are produced? So potassium nitrate, and I've been using blue for what I seek. Potassium nitrate is what I seek. Where is potassium nitrate? So this is potassium nitrate. I seek that. And so, you know what? I'll just put that up because I seek that. I know that's going to go up there. And I know two moles potassium phosphate react with two moles of aluminum nitrate. Ooh, two no's? Well, I'll show you that it doesn't matter. Uh, so two moles K2 
P3PO4. That's what I know. Coefficient of 1. <clears throat> 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 1 is 6 moles potassium nitrate. Now, there were two givens, but if you look, it also has a coefficient of 1, right? And <clears throat> it is the same given amount. So if we have the same given amount and the same denominator, you're going to get the same final answer. So mole to mole stoichiometry is pretty easy. This is the extent of what they're going to ask you to do on the regions. Anything beyond that is going to be honors only curriculum. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.